Look what I found out interestingly enough when comparing the 24 to 70 28 and the 70 to 200 28. This is set at 70 and this is set at 70. Check what happens when I defocus it, defocus the tree here. So here at 70 millimeter, this is on the 24 to 70 28. On the crop sensor, D50, D500, mind you. So check this out. So look at that awesome bokeh you get there. So, so back, to, you know. So check that out. The nice, nice bokeh going on. Now, if I come over to the full frame sensor, D810, using the 70 to 200, 28. And let me defocus that for you. Not quite the same bokeh, is there? That's really interesting. Now I'm not sure if that's because of the design of the lens or just the subject to camera distance, because I'm literally, the tree is literally four feet away from me here, so it's not very far away, as you can see. But I found it very interesting that the bokeh on the crop censored D500, the bokeh looks a lot better. Yeah, so here I've reversed the lenses on both cameras here. We have a D500 with the 70 to 200 28. Here we have a full frame D810 with this 24 to 70 28. Now check out the bokeh on this guy here. Let me focus in. And as you can see, that's the bokeh autofocus defocused at 70 millimeter. Focused, out of focus. That's at 70. Here's at 24. Just like the other test, that's at 70. If we move over here to the D500, using the 24, no, using the 70 200 This is, I believe, at the 70 millimeter. That's 200 or 70. That's the most bokeh I can get out of that. And then there's, you know, focus, back to bokeh. So it's interesting that at both lenses set to 70 millimeter, the 24 to 70 provides better bokeh on both, switching it both from full frame to crop sensor. Maybe it's just the, the focal length, because I'm at the far end of the zoom range on the 24 to 70, whereas here I'm on the short range of the 70 to 200 and also the Christmas tree itself is only a few feet away. I would say what about four feet away so maybe maybe have something to do with the Camera to subject distance, but I found that interesting. I thought I'd just share that with you guys But yeah, the shorter lens definitely gives the better bulk gay because this is at 70 millimeter And then here's that 200 just for Craps and giggles. You know what's interesting also at 200 millimeter. So the crap sensor, because you're using the sweet spot of the lens, that gives better like overall rounded bokeh. Nice auto, you know, where the autofocus parts are actually circular rather than the oblong shape like I showed you on the full frame because you're using the edge of the lens. And going back to the full frame. Still looks okay. The bokeh looks good here. So it's definitely the lens that plays the most part in determining bokeh. Alright guys, hope you found this informative or interesting. At least I did. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.